Over the last few years, many of us have gotten used to tracking air quality when wildfires send smoke our way. And those fires have erased much of the progress California has made in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. They're also causing another problem, ozone pollution. Here's David Schechner on the dot. This year's wildfires made the country's air quality horrible. We've heard a lot about the large particles of toxic chemicals floating in the smoke, but it turns out those wildfires created another kind of pollution, ozone. Which we call the ozone layer. Not that ozone, we like that ozone. It's up in the atmosphere and it actually protects us from the sun. But when ozone forms at the ground level, it's a kind of pollution that can trigger asthma, especially in kids. So let's talk about the bad ozone that's down here. Most of the time it comes from a chemical reaction when the exhaust from our cars and factories gets baked by the sun. Hello. Oops. Can't hear you yet. That's Dan Jaffe, or at least it will be Dan Jaffe when we figure out how to use Zoom. Can you hear me now? We could do the whole interview like charades. It sounds like ozone. He's been studying ozone pollution for the last 30 years. And so ozone tends to be a summertime problem. And uh, we associate it more with cities that get a lot of sunshine. And you talk about Los Angeles and places that have, you know, smog. Is ozone smog? Yes. Ozone is a, the major ingredient in smog. But Jaffe says that ozone comes from more than just our cars and our factories because wildfires can release similar chemicals that react with the sun and create ozone. Here's how he knows. In 2020, during the pandemic, way fewer people were driving their cars. So you would expect ozone to go down. On the East Coast, air quality data shows that is exactly what happened. But on the West Coast, where people were also driving less, there were massive fires that year and ozone pollution actually went up. In terms of your research, it sort of finds a double whammy effect of fire that's particulate matter, but then you also have ozone problems. Yep. So that was the first sort of clue as to the role of fires. And we saw that again this summer. Jaffe says fires in Canada were the source of elevated ozone levels in the Midwest and Eastern states. So bottom line, wildfires can make our ozone problems worse. I'm David Schechter on The Dot.